Hey, howdy, hey, welcome to your welcome back to my channel. Um, for today's video, I will be reviewing RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 2, Episode 9. So, if that sounds good to you, make sure to like this video, comment down below what you thought about this episode, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're enjoying my content and you continue to watch my content, might as well hit that subscribe button. I also have plenty of other videos for you to watch if there's anything you would like to that would pique your interest. I have lots and lots of videos. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get this video started. <laughs> alright, alright. So, yes, today we had the episode 9 of Drag Race UK. Um, this was a soap opera challenge and it was a very fun episode including a pantomime runway pan pan pantomime runway yes yes um it was a fun runway and yeah i'm gonna go and give you my thoughts and my opinions on this episode um this will contain spoilers so if you have not already seen the episode definitely go watch that episode but before you do go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when I put, upload future videos, and you can always find this review whenever you need to. Anyways, so we will be getting right on into it. Um, obviously this episode started out with the queens walking back into the workroom after a uh, horror has sashayed away. Um, there's been a lot of, no, I won't, I wouldn't say drama, but there's been a lot of, um, people online talking about how, um, getting mad at Lawrence and, Especially Lawrence, um, with, uh, the situation with Ellie Diamond regarding the, uh, comedy order. And I don't necessarily think, uh, getting mad at Lawrence is necessary because I feel like that is a co conversation for them to have. And I don't think we as viewers really need to get involved in that. Um, and obviously they're drag sisters, like, they're fine. This is how they interact with each other. Anyways, um... So there's a little bit of drama when they get back into the workroom continued with this discussion between Lawrence and Ellie where Lawrence continues to think that Ellie really set her up to be eliminated um which I don't necessarily think is true because I mean if you are a funny queen you'll be able to make it work no matter what position you get I'm just saying um and I think Lauren just got in their head a little bit too much maybe that's just me definitely comment down below what you thought. But, um, now the queens are starting to talk to each other, getting out of drag. There's one conversation where, um, Lawrence is like, well, it didn't get you bad anyway, did it, Ellie? So, there was that little moment of shade. Shade. Anyways, um, that was about it from the queens getting back from the workroom, uh, into the workroom, sorry. And just getting out of drag, getting ready for the next day, all the things. We get into the next day, and RuPaul walks out with a hat. What is it with RuPaul and these hats and wigs? It's definitely an interesting choice. I'm wondering what happened for RuPaul to be wearing all these wigs, because we're not seeing that in season 13. If there have any, if you have any theories, definitely comment down below. But, um, RuPaul walks in and explains to them what the mini challenge is going to be this week. The mini challenge is the puppet challenge, because everybody, what, loves puppets. Yes, it's time for the mini challenge, a challenge that is a really a staple in Drag Race. So of course they're gonna do it. Um, this uh, puppet show is pretty fun. There are a few standouts that I definitely want to talk about. Obviously, Bimini killed it by being with her Lawrence puppet, like just so good. Um, Lawrence, I thought was really funny. I think Ellie got, fell a little bit flat along with Tace. Um, but Bimini definitely won the mini challenge. So congratulations. Congratulations to Bimini. A uh, well deserved win. Bimini gets to decide the order that the queens w or the roles that the queens get to get for the main challenge, which is a, again, a soap opera challenge. Um, this was a fun soap opera. I don't really know too much about soap opera, so I'm going to go ahead and give you my thoughts and my opinions about it. But let's get right on into it. They're assigning roles. It all works out really. Every queen is happy with the role that they get. Um, Bimini seems like a fair, um, role this is fair with her casting of the roles um nobody's really upset everybody gets what they want um so the queens have to all get ready and then they go out to rehearse with michelle visage and record the um 
soap opera. And um, with the recording of, with Michelle, there are a few point things I wanted to point out. Obviously, Lawrence kept struggling with the recording process. A lot of struggle remembering remembering Lawrence's lines, um, which I thought was interesting. I think uh, Michelle put it well. I think Lawrence gets in their head too much with um, comedy challenges. I think that's what's been happening these past few weeks. Because Lawrence was doing so well in the competition, I think Lawrence is now getting into their head too much. I'm a little concerned for Lawrence moving forward into the final episode, but we'll have to see what happens. Um, there's that. Uh, Ellie also messed up her lines a little bit. They didn't really show much of Bimini, which I thought was interesting. They also didn't show much of Tace. Um, that was about it, really, for recording with Michelle. Um, so, yeah. Then the queens go back into the workroom. It's the elimination day, and the queens are all getting ready. They find letters written to them all from their mothers. Um, I think it's a really interesting point during the episode when they're all reading their letters from their mothers because I feel like I, I can only speak for my own personal experience, but for me, I've always been very close with my mom, and I think as a queer person, having a um, strong female role model has been a really good thing for me, and I think that's something that a lot of these cast members are really um, trying to place a focus on, um, which I really enjoyed this moment when they're all reading it, reading the letters. I thought it was just really sweet and a really uh, heartfelt moment um, and really nice to watch. Yeah, that's about it from that. Um, but the queens are all getting ready to walk onto the main stage and do all the things. Um, nothing really else crazy happens because there's that moment with all the letters which takes up most of the time of them getting ready. Um, so, yeah. Now we're gonna get to the runway, RuPaul's runways, the Queen's runways, the, um, soap opera, and all the things. So, first I want to talk about Ru's runway. I think Ru looked gorgeous. I'm gonna put a picture up here of all the judges. I think Ru looked great. Um, Michelle is looking amazing in Drag Race UK. I'm just saying Michelle's, uh, outfits are getting really, really good, and her makeup is gorgeous, and I love her hair. So good. Um... Yeah, that was about it. Uh, when it comes to actual Queen's Runways, I'm going to go and talk to you guys about them now. Um, a lot of them seem very similar, not in a bad way. I'm just saying they, I mean, I guess it, they all fit the same topic or same concept. Um, Bimini, I think, looked great. I think Lawrence looked great. Taste was fine. I feel like Taste, the one thing I did like about Taste is a lot is that Taste tried to interpret the uh, concept in their own way, which I really appreciate. But I don't think it necessarily went as well as Taste would want it to. Again, I could be wrong, but um, that's just my own perspective. Um, Ellie looked fine. Nothing really crazy happened with the runway. We get to the actual show, getting to watch the show, the soap opera. It was funny. Um, I didn't see myself like laughing out loud very much. I don't know. Maybe it, the comedy wasn't really my comedy. I'm not quite sure. It was fine. It just it wasn't my favorite acting challenge, I will say. Um, I think Bimini killed it because Bimini's physical comedy really made it work very, very well. Um, I also think Lawrence in the final product ended up turning out very, doing a very good job. Um, Ellie, I feel like was a little bit too pedestrian with their acting, if that makes sense. I feel like she didn't really push it as much as she should have and kind of faded in the background. Same with Taste for that. They both kind of, I think, didn't push it as far as they could have, um, in the acting, so that's ultimately why they ended up in the bottom, um, but that's my own perspective on that. Um, but now we get to the actual judging, and the uh, judges are saying that everyone did a really good job. I agree, I didn't see any major flops. Um, they do talk about taste wearing, uh, interpreting the challenge in a different way. They aren't a big fan of it. Um, yeah, so the queens go back to untuck. There's some drama between um, Ellie and Lawrence, again, Ellie saying Lawrence didn't remember Lawrence's lines, which threw off Ellie. There's some, that's the drama really, nothing really terribly crazy happens in Untucked this week. Um, yeah, that's about it. Nothing really crazy happens this week, like I keep saying. Um, it was a fine episode, I don't know. The winner this week, though, is going to end up being Bimini Bamboulash. I agree with this, this is fair, Bimini killed it, this is Bimini's fourth win. So Bimini is really setting themselves up to win the entire competition at this point. Again, we'll have to see how next week goes, but I feel pretty confident with saying Bimini is set up to be the winner. I could be wrong, they could change things up, but we'll have to see what happens. 
Um, now we get to the lip sync between Tace and uh, Ellie. The lip sync is fine. I, yeah, it was fine. Nothing really crazy. I mean, Tace, again, is always killing it in a lip sync. Um, at first, RuPaul says, Tace, you're safe. And then he goes to talk to Ellie, and he says, Ellie Diamond, you're also safe. So it's a double chante. I'm, my opinion on this is kind of something I want to talk to you guys about, actually. I don't really understand why RuPaul saved Ellie. At this point, I don't think Ellie's going to win the competition, just being honest with you guys. I also don't think Tace is going to win the competition at this point. So I don't really see the point in having a double chante on the second to last episode. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Please comment down below what you thought about that, but that's my own perspective on that. Um, this episode overall is fine. Nothing really crazy. It was a fun episode. I just don't think it was my favorite episode. Um, next week we have our finale again, so all the queens will be coming back. We'll have to see how all that goes. I did get to see Jenny Lemon a little bit in the preview, so that means Jenny Lemon will be coming back. We'll see what happens there. And yeah, that's about it. That brings the end of my review though. Like I said already, make sure to like this video if you liked it. Comment down below what you thought about this episode. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will be back here tomorrow with my Drag Race review for season 13. I will not be going live just because I have some stuff going on tomorrow. And I'm kind of trying to take things step by step. Um, I will try my best though, like I said already, to get my review out tomorrow. If it's not out tomorrow, it'll be out Saturday. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys later. Have a good rest of your night or day wherever you are, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.